and we've got 3,702 grams of, uh, of mass right there. So we'll record that and use that later on in the video. Here's the weight of the empty beaker from part one where we weighed the chloroauric acid crystals in the beaker. You can see the uh, empty beaker weighs 1,090 grams. I have the uh, precipitated gold in this beaker. And now what we're gonna do, I've got some boiling tap water back here. And we're gonna use boiling tap water to rinse the gold powder off, get all the chemicals rinsed off. And people are saying, well, sweet tips, you're gonna introduce contamination into the gold because tap water has contaminants in it. That is true. Tap water does have contaminants, but those contaminants are measured in parts per million for the tap water around here. And that's just not enough to reg register in a precious metals assay. Okay, I've got a, uh, a blue parrot headset on that's got a microphone on it and a Bluetooth connection to my phone and it's supposed to be really good for noise canceling so you folks let me know what kind of sound quality we're getting here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this off now into this waste bucket back here. A little bit of the gold might get poured over with it but that's quite all right recover any gold that gets poured over out of this liquid that I'm pouring off. So what I'm going to do is just continue to rinse this over and over until I get all the uh, excess SMB rinsed off here. I've rinsed it over and over with some boiling tap water and I'm fairly certain we've got all the chemicals rinsed off of here now. It's rinsing up real nice, staying clumped together like clean gold will tend to do. So I think we've got this pretty much rinsed now smell here see if I can smell any no I don't smell any SO2 fumes so I think we've got all the chemicals rinsed off now get rid of this last rinse and here's what the pure gold looks like down inside the beaker Here's what our rinse water looks like. There's a light dusting of gold down on the bottom of this bucket. And once it settles out completely, I'll pour the rinse water into my stock pot and then we'll recover that little bit of gold out of the bottom. But for now, we're gonna get this thing out of here. I've got a nice double burner. Paid 12 bucks for it at an estate sale. So we're going to get this set up now to uh, go ahead and dry off our gold powder. Folks had asked about these pans. You can see right there it says Corning Wear. These are Pyro Ceram. Very tough. They'll take a lot of heat. 
but they will shatter if you get, get them hot and put liquid on them. Okay, I have another dish here, and it says Corningware on it as well. Right there. That's how you can tell if you got the real thing. It says Corningware. And I picked these up at local sales. Let's get a weight on the empty pan. It's like 1,000. grams. I'm going to transfer the gold into this drying dish carefully. Let's flatten this out a little bit to increase the surface area so we get it dried out. Step. Let's put our pan up inside of this other pan. It fits in there nicely and gets held up off the bottom of this one so we don't have direct contact there. We're going to dry the gold off slowly with a water bath. I will put this on time lapse and let it dry out real slow and go to the next step. I've got the gold dried off completely. I've got my scale set up down here. We're gonna weigh this pan with the gold in it now. Looks like we got 3,200 grams of gold. Okay, we got 3,202 grams with the pan and the gold, and what we have, we had 32.02 minus the pan was 16.04. So we got 15.98. 15.98, is that right? And what did we start with? Well, yeah, we started with 16.03. Onto the milk table. And we're gonna start, uh, start trying to melt this gold now.
overheated. I've got more than half of the gold melted. So what we'll do is I'll melt the rest of this off camera, get it poured into this water, and then once we get the, all the gold in metallic form like that, we'll move to the next step. Rinse it with some distilled water. Now we'll take this out, put it on the heat, dry it out. I'm waiting for the gold to dry. I've got a couple of items here that we're going to be offering for sale on my eBay site. This is a 14K gold cross. And it's got some amethyst and a tanzanite in the middle. It's about two inches tall or so and about an inch wide. Made out of 14K gold. And then we've got this men's diamond ring. White gold, uh, it's 14K. The total carat weight of this thing is about uh, about one quarter carat of total weight of diamonds in there. And we're offering both of these for sale on my eBay site. If you're interested in those, go to my eBay site. It's Sri Tips. My eBay username is Sri Tips and check them out. Here's our pure gold. I've got it dried off completely. Now what we're gonna do is put it in this jar and get a measurement on this, get a weight on it. This jar weighs 252.5 grams and I've got it written right on the side there. I've got a little funnel and we're gonna take, zero this out now. We're gonna get a weight on our pure gold. fell out we have 1597 grams of pure gold let's see that's going to be 51.3 troy ounces so i only lost 0.2 troy ounces in the whole process uh we had 1603 grams of the pure gold bar was 1603 grams we got, so we only lost about six grams of gold throughout that entire process. Okay, here's our jar of pure gold. Got a sealed lid. 
And this will conclude part three of the 50 Troy ounce gold bar dissolve. Thank you for watching.